Good day, I'm Lorraine Abrits and I'm going to be your tutor today. Please note if you have any questions, pop me an email at lorrainebrits77 at gmail.com or send me a WhatsApp message to 0267902020. We are going to look at summaries today. Opsommen. Wat is a opsommen? A kernachtige weergave van die belangrijkste feiten of hoofdpunten. Now, during the exam, you're going to find the following section, afdeling B, opsommen. Over there you will read the instructions that you need to do in order to complete your summary. Let's read. Lees die onderstaande artikel aandachtig dier en voer dan die volgende instructies uit. So we need to read the article and then follow the instructions. Number one. Som die richtlijn en wink, wenke in 7 volsinne op. Summarize the hints in 7 full sentences. 2. Skryf elke wink in a volsin neer. Write each hint in a full sentence. 3. Moe nie directe aanhalings uit die leestik gebruik nie. Gebruik jou eie woorde. Please do not use direct words out of the text. Use your own words. Number four. Skryf die sinne puntsgewys onder mekaar neer. You need to write it in bullet point form. Five. Laat een reel tussen die sinne oop. So leave a line between the sentences. And says, jou opsomming mag nie langer as 70 woorde wees nie. So your word count is 70 words. 7. Duid die correcte getal woorde aan die einde van jou opsomming aan. So you need to count your words and at the end of this, your summary, write the number of words. Let's read together. Rigleine en wenke vir die maak van opsommings. A tekst word opgesom dier dit saam te vat in baie minder woorde as wat daar in die oorspronkelijke stuk is. Dit is dus een kernachtige weergave van die belangrijkste feiten of hoofdpunten. Om een goede opsomming te maak, moet je kan onderscheiden tussen belangrijke en minder belangrijke inlichting. Lees die tekst aandachtig dier, zodat so je die inhoud goed verstaan. Terwijl je lees, kan je die hoofdgedagtes onderstreep of extra inlichting elimineer, soos voorbeelde, verduidelikings en beskrywende woorde. Die instructie sal jou een aanduiding gee of jou opsomming in die vorm van een paragraaf of punten onder mekaar moet wees. In Afrikaans word al gewoonlik van jou verwag om die opsomming puntsgewys onder mekaar neer te skryf. Maak die saak of jou een paragraaf of puntsgewys jou opsommings maak nie, jy sal altyd een reel moet ooplaat, Dus in elke punt. Begin die een geheerkaart te maak van die hoofdgedagtes of skryf jou eerste poging. Merk dit duidelik as rol weg en trek een nekies op potlitstreep daar dier, so dat die nasiener dit nie as jou finale poging merk nie. Daarna kan jy jou finale poging skryf. Merk dit duidelik as jou finale poging boon die blad sy. Gebruik die hoofdgedagtes in jou geheerkaart om jou opsomming en jou eie woorde in volsinne te skryf. Jy sal punte verloor indien jy directe aanhalings aan die leestik gebruik. Skryf so saaklik moendlik en laat alle onnodige woorde weg. Jy verloor punte as jy meer woorde gebruik as wat vereis word. Vir my afkortings en opsomming met de woordbeperking. Gebruik je wel afkortings, zal die woorden in die plek daarvan, waarvan dit staan, getaal word. Als je woordtelling bij hoer is als die verlangde getal, zal die nasiener moeilijk so wat vijf woorden extra toelaat. Die rest zal geïgnoreerd worden. Onthou om onderaan die opsomming die woordtelling tussen hakjes meer te schrijven. Nou hier is een voorbeeld van een geheerkaart. So one of the uh, ideas, the hints they gave us, was to make a mind map 
of the, the bullet points that we're going to write about. So over here you can see I created a year card. In the center is Opsumen, which is the main idea, what it's all about. And then all the main ideas are structured. And we're looking for seven. So there are seven main headings. Kernweergave, hoofgedagtes, paragraaf of puntsgewijs, later reel oop, rolwerk, finale poging en woorde beperken. So what I've done over here is I took my original text and I eliminated extra information. So what I do not need. You can either do that or, like they suggested in text, you can highlight the main points. I like to eliminate extra information because it makes life so much easier. In the first paragraph you can see I've del deleted a text word op a som die dit saam te vat en baie minder woorde as waar daar in die oorspronklike stuk is. So, let's continue. Over here you can see it's my rough draft, my rough work. On top of the page, it's written rough work. So on the left hand side, you've got the director on Arlen, and on your right hand side, my rough work, my first draft. So let's see, like I said, I've eliminated unimportant information. So what is left is a kernachtige weergave van die belangrijkste feite of hoofdpunte. Now, I can't just copy that because then it is using the direct words. I will be penalized for that. So what I'm doing is I'm creating a new sentence in my own words. A opsomme is a kernachtige weergave van die belangrijkste feite of hoofdpunte. In paragraph 2, they tell us Lees die tekst aandachtig dier, so dat jy die inhoud goed verstaan. So we don't need to write the reason why we need to read the text. Therefore, I crossed it out. Terwijl jy lees, kan jy die hoofgedagtes onderstreep of extra inlichting elimineer. That's our main point. Hoofgedagtes onderstreep of extra inlichting elimineer. And all that before that, I can cross out because it's irrelevant. Suez give us the idea that there is an example that's going to follow, or something is like something else, so I don't need to write that information. Therefore, I crossed out Suez voorbeelde verduidelikings in beskrywende woorde. Now I need to rewrite the sentence in my own words. And I always start with the verb. Lees die tekst. Lees, my verb. What do I need to read? The, the, the text. The text. En, and, onderstreep. Yet again, another verb. Hoofgedagtes of elimineer. Another verb, eliminate. Extra inlichting. So the full sentence is, Lees die tekst en onderstreep hoofgedagtes of elimineer extra inlichting. In paragraph 3, they say, Die instructies sal jou een aanleiding gee of jou opsomming in die vorm van een paragraaf of punte onder mekaar moet wees. So what is most important? The fact that it needs to be in a form of paragraph or in bullet points. So all the rest I can delete. But I'm leaving instructions because that is where I'm going to look for the information. In Afrikaans word al gewoonlik van jou verwag om die opsomming punsgewijs onder mekaar neer te skryf. There they're only telling us that what we need to do in Afrikaans. But it's irrelevant because that's not our main point. So now, from the information that's left, I derive the following sentence. Die instructies sal aandui of die opsomming in paragraafvorm of punsgewijs moet wees. Paragraaf 4 Maak nie saak of jou paragraaf, paragraaf of punsgewijs jou opsomming maak nie, jy sal altyd een reel moet oplaat tussen elke punt. 
So what are they telling us here? The most important point is we need to leave a line open. Therefore, I crossed out all the other information, the extra information I don't need. So I'm stuck with, and I start with my verb again, laat a reel oop tussen elke punt. In the next paragraph, they say, begin met a gejeukaart te maak van die hoofgedagtes of skryf jou eerste poge. So that is very important. We need to make a mind map first. Merk dit, duidelik as rooweg, en trek een nekiese potloedstreep daardoor, so dat die nasiener dit nie as jou finale poging merk nie. So you can see, in the beginning, begin dier een geheukaart. You don't need to tell them in the beginning. You only need to know something about die geheukaart. What do I need to do with my geheukaart? I need to mark it as rof werk. And then I need to draw a pencil line through it. So that die nasiener dit nie as jou finale poging merk nie, that is all extra information which I don't need. So from what's left, I derived at the following sentence. Yet again, I start with the verb. Merk jou eerste poging as rolwerk. Merk is my verb. En trak, trak is another verb. Trek a potlood streep daardoor. I need to draw a line through that. Volgende paragraaf. Daarna kan jy jou finale poging skryf. Merk dit duidelik as jou finale poging boe aan die blad sê. So now they're talking about our final draft. What do I need to do? I need to mark it as my final draft. So that is important. Gebruik die hoofgedagtes in jou geheerkaart om jou opsomming in jou eie woorde in volsinne te skryf. Which is very important, I need to write it in my own words in full sentences, so that I will keep. Jy sal punte verloor indien jy directe aanhalings uit die leestik gebruik. That is extra information. You're going to lose marks if you use direct words out of the passage. Skryf so saaklik moendlik en laat alles on, en laat alle onnodige woorde weg. That is only extra information describing what we need to do. So yet again, from the information that's left, I created the following sentence. Please note, I start with, yes, correct, a verb. Merk jou finale poging en verb skryf dit in jou eie woorde Haal in vol sin en neer. The next paragraph. Jy verloor punte as jy meer woorde gebruik as wat vereis word. So now they're talking about the words. Let's see, what do they have to say? Vir my afkortings in a opsomming met a woorde beperking. Oh, woorde beperking is a very interesting word. So that is the limit I have on my words. Gebruik jy wel afkortings, sal die woorde in die plek da, wat, waar, woorde wat in die plek waarvan dit staan getel word. So now they're just telling me that what's going to happen if I use abbreviations, afkortings. I'm go, they are going to, tell, uh, to count it as extra words, so don't use that. But it's also extra information that I don't need. As jou woordetelling baie hoer is as die verlangde getal, sal die nasiener moendlik so wat 5 woorde extra toelaat. Die rest sal geignoreer word. So now they only telling you how the person marking the, your summary will react towards what you are doing. To, oh, how many words there are, excuse me. And how that is very important, we need to remember. What do we need to remember? Om onderaan die opsomming die woordtelling tussen hakies te skryf. So we need to write the word count at the bottom of the page. From, yet again, from the information that's left, this is the sentence I've created. Hou by die woorde beperking, hou is my verb, en skryf, my next verb, die woordtelling tussen hakies, 
onderaan jou opsomming neer. Alright, so this has now been my rough work. I counted the words in all the sentence and I got 83 words, which is a problem because I need 70 words max. Over here you can see my whole rough work, what I've done. But now, because there's too many words, I need to make it less. So what can I take away? Belangrijkste I can take away in the first bullet point. Why? Because it's only explaining feite of woofpunte. So that's a describing word. I don't need that. I can take it away. Lees die tekst en onderstreep die hoofgedagtes of eliminer extra inlichting. So, we can assume that you are going to read something if you underline it. So I can take away lees die tekst en. I just need to tell the reader that they need to underline and eliminate. But what do they need to un underline and what do they need to eliminate? The third bullet point. Die instructies sal aandui of die opsomming in paragraafvorm of punt gewaas moet wees. This sentence is a little bit too long. So let's see, how can we make it shorter? Die opsomming kan in paragraafvorm of punt gewaas wees. So now I'm telling you that it can be either or, either paragraph or pinsgewijs, which is bullet points. The next bullet is short and sweet. Laat er heel oop tussen elke punt. So I can leave it as is. The next bullet point. Merk jou eerste poging as rovaak en trek a potlood streep daardoor. Yet again, although your first draft is named rovaak, I do not need to re-explain myself again and again and again. So, I can take away eerste poging as. Merk jou finale poging. That is short and sweet. Mark your final um, work. En skryf dit in jou eie woorde in volsin en neer. And write it in your own words in full sentences. That's all we need to do. Hou by die woordbeperking en skryf die woordtelling tussen hakies onder aan jou opsomming neer. So over here I added some extra information between brackets. Therefore I don't need it. I can get rid of that. Now I've written my final draft and please take note that in the beginning I, write, I wrote finale poging. And because I need to do it in bullet points, you will see I have bullet point 1 to 7. Please note, there is a line open between each and every point as well. And at the right hand side, at the bottom of the page, you can see my word count is now 68 words, which is, is below 70 words. So I'm in the green. Let's quickly read our summary. Ian, a opsomming is a kernachtige weergave van die feite of hoofpunte. 2. Onderstreep hoofgedagtes of elimineer extra inlichting. 3. Die opsomming kan in paragraafvorm of punsgewijs wees. 4. Laat er reel oop tussen elke punt. 5. Merk jou rolwerk en trek een potloodstreep daardoor. 6. Merk jou finale poging en skryf dit in jou eie woorde in vol sinne neer. 7. Hou by die woordbeperking en skryf die woordtelling onder jou opsomming neer. Ok, cool. Now we've got a summary of how to make summaries. So let's see if we agree to all of these. A opsomming is a kernachtige weergave van die feite of hoofpunte. So yes, this is a summary of all the facts and main points. Onderstreep hoofgedagtes of elimineer extra inlichting. We did underline or eliminated in this instance all the extra information. 
Die opsomming kan in paragraafvorm of puntsgewijs wees. In our instructions, they ask us to do it puntsgewijs, so in bullet points. So we've done this. Laat een reel oop dus in elke put. You can see, I've left a line between each and every point. Merk jou rofwerk en trek een potlood streep daar dier. That's what we've done. We've created our rough, our rough work and we drew a, pot, uh, sorry, a pencil line um, over it. Merk jou finale pogen. So this is what we've done. At the beginning you can see a finale pogen written out nicely. En skryf in jou eie woorde en volsin neer. And that we done. We did create it in our own words and in full sentences because each and every sentence has a verb. How by the woorde beperking, we did keep to our word count and skryf die woordtelling onder aan jou opsom neer. We did write the word count at the end of the page. Awesome! I hope you really understand how to make summaries now. Have a nice day.